Hello there, board game maniacs, and thank you for joining me in, in another episode of Painting with the Maniac. We are going to be painting some miniatures from Fallout Wasteland Warfare by Modifius Entertainment. Now, this is the theme month for Fallout Wasteland Warfare, and I have some videos that are either up already or going up this month that has battling where one faction against the other and even like a solo mission that I play too as well. And unfortunately, I'm not using what I'm painting here today because I've already shot the videos of the gameplay and then I picked these up and started to paint them. Actually, when I say picked them up, they were given to me as a Christmas present and I'm getting around now to paint them because I wanted to put them on camera to paint them because I love the miniatures from this series. They have really, really great detail to them. A lot, lot of fun, easy to put together, assemble, comes with very awesome scenic bases. It, it's just a, a great game all in all. I haven't been very well versed in playing the, the Wasteland Warfare, Warfare, but the games that I played, like six games, I enjoyed thoroughly. I really like the mechanics, how it operates, and I'm going to be playing this more and more and more as time goes on. You can see here it's Creatures wasteland vermin this is the box set one of the ones that I, that was given to me because i only have the core box and i think i have one faction box that i know of it may be just more survivors i can't actually recall because i picked it up a while ago but in either case we're going to be painting the mole rats in this episode so these guys right here i'm not going to paint them exactly like this but close enough the reason why i'm not painting exact painting it exactly is i like to give a spin onto what miniatures I painted. The reason why is because I'm no professional painter, so don't take this painting along with me series seriously. Or you can, it's up to you, but I just, I paint in the way that I enjoy painting them. And just a word of caution again, is that I am not a professional painter by no means. So you can have this on in the background while you're painting your Fallout Wasteland Warfare miniatures or what have you. You can jump over to Modifius.com and you can check out the other games that they have too as well. Really great, great, like, I can't say too much negative things about Fallout Wasteland Warfare. I do do a review in the 1v1 player game at the end of it. So when that becomes available, just watch that if you want to see a review of, a little bit of a review that I do onto the Fallout Wasteland Warfare game itself. Having said that, how do you know that when that video comes available? Well, it's very simple. You have to be a subscriber to the YouTube channel Board Game Mainax and click on the bell notification icon and it'll notify you when videos such as this become available so that you can view. Whew, all right. So just bring this up a bit for a second. You get in this box that you get 932 millimeter scale, high quality, multi-part resin, resin miniature. So better detail. And on top of that too, as well as the assembly of this is so simplistic. Like I put all of them together. I painted one off camera just so I can get my colors down of what I wanted. But if you look at the back of this box set, where it says nine in total it comes with, you can see it comes with six rad roaches and three mole rats. We are gonna be painting a mole rat from this one in this episode. Another episode that's gonna be coming available is gonna be painting a rad roach and we're just going to keep moving on from there it's a lot of fun and like i said it's include scenic bases i'm not doing any sand techniques into these bases which i've done in the past for other painting with the maniac episodes the the bases are already done it's just a matter of just painting them so which is awesome it saves a little bit of work incredible so let's go and look at the miniature nail of what i'm going to be painting and look at the example of the one that i've already painted this is the mole rat that i painted now, he is a lot darker than the ones that are on the box, but again, I like really grimy looking miniatures and this here is no exception for this. I'm just gonna bring this up better so it's in focus a little bit. So you can see the scenic base, no sand. It it's, comes like that. You can see it has the Modifius or Bethesda Soft Works 2018 copyright on the back too as well. I can't even read, geez. And you know, very simple miniature to paint. This this, tour, this uh, painting along with the episode is probably not going to be too long, but hey, it just gives more time so I can put more painting in other miniatures for this theme month for Fallout Waste and Warfare. That's pretty simple. So you can see here a little bit of dry brushing going on. Very, 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 very simple to paint. 
Now, for assembly this, it was a one-step process. The body is actually molded to the base itself, and the only thing that you have to assemble is by putting the head onto the body. And I just glued it with some super glue. They have details into the eyes and everything, but I didn't really concentrate no much, too much onto the eyes. I just, I just wanted to, to get it so I can put it on the table, but yet I haven't played with them on the table yet because I don't have the unicards for this kind of vermin so far. But you can also go to the website, the Modifius website, and you can download all the cards in the game. Like, the, they have no secrets, they're not holding anything back. If you want the digital copy of the, of the cards for the game, the rules, the scenarios, everything, just jump over and you can download it. It's pretty simple. So that's what we're gonna be painting today. I'll show you, I've already primed it in white. And people may be asking, why am I priming it right, white? It's very simple. I primed it in white, not because it was my choice to prime it in white. Well, it kind of is my choice, but still, I primed this miniature in white because it is the only primer that I had available at the time. You could prime it in black, you could prime it in gray, whatever color you want to prime it in. You can do zenital highlights and everything else. You could probably airbrush this whole miniature. It'd be pretty simple to do because it, it's not a big miniature, as you can see from the size reference of my hand or my finger. But, you know, like, Definitely good detail. You could pull off a nice airbrushing technique if you want, but I'm not gonna do airbrushing. I'm gonna, we're gonna be painting it the old way or, or the original way, and that's with the paintbrush and acrylic paint. So let's start painting this bad boy up and see what we get. The first color we're going to do is we're going to paint the, the base coat onto the mold rat, and we are using Citadel's Deathclaw Brown for the base coat. Again, I'm not going by the pigment that it shows in the pictures. I'm just changing it up slightly a bit. And I can use a bigger brush for this, but right now I am going to be using a size, you can see there, it's a series 970 white. And that's what I'm gonna be doing first. And the reason why I'm doing that first is I'm just gonna paint around the, uh, his mouth part or the teeth part just so that because when I put on the color for the teeth it just it's easier that I don't have to paint over it more and more but I am going to be switching to a bigger brush shortly I'm just getting the small detail part first and if you're wondering I am diluting my paint but actually what I did is I made like my homemade um, wet palette and I'm using that to paint it, like to, to keep the paint fresh, let it smooth, smooth a bit, make it smooth over a little bit. Why am I having a hard time talking? Blah, blah, blah. So anyhow, yeah, I'm using my wet palette and I watered down the paint slightly for this just so I can get it to go into the crevices a little more smoothly. The detail on this is pretty cool. I like it. I wouldn't want to meet this, uh, this mole rat in any certain circumstance in real life if they did exist because too scary these guys are probably you know they're not little tiny things but they're not huge but they're big enough that they could do some damage to you the reason why i say that because i've never really encountered them in the video game because i'm not much of a video game guy but i'm yet to encounter them on the table that's right because i am getting super excited to play these guys. I didn't play with the Death Claw yet either. He looks really menacing and scary. I won't be showing a video for that painting though, unfortunately, because I had the core box for the uh, what Fallout Waste on Warfare a while ago, and I painted them before I even thought about doing like painting along with me series. And that's my story and that's what I'm sticking to. But having said that, if we move further on in this channel, which I'm sure we will, but playing more of this and showcasing more products and that hopefully that you'll be seeing more painting tutorials I'm going to be doing. Or not painting tutorials per se, but painting along with me. I wouldn't call it a painting tutorial. Simply for the fact is because I'm not a professional painter and I don't want to lead anybody down the wrong, the wrong path when painting these because everybody has different techniques. I'm just painting the way that I know works for me. So I'm switching with the larger brush now. Um, do I have a size on this one? It's just a base brush from Citadel. Just so I can get it done, like that area cover quicker. 
So if I go on the base a bit with the, the paint, I don't really care too much because I'm gonna be painting the base differently, like with a different color next before I do the wash part onto it. All I'm making sure now is that, you know, I, I get a, a coverage, not even so much of an even coverage. I kind of want a little splotchy in areas or a little lighter. And the reason why is because I just, I want to give more of a, what can I say, like a translucency to the paint in certain areas. I know I can achieve it with just different paint and layers and so on, but I'm trying to kill a couple of steps here. I could be wrong. I would like for you to comment down below and let me know what, you know, if you paint some translucency for skin and even if you do some vein work or anything like that, like I'd love to see some pictures. You could send them to boardgamemaniacs at gmail.com. And I would love to see your work or even just painting in general of any of the Fallout Waste and Warfare miniatures. Cause I, I just, I love the look of them. I'm a big fan for like post-apocalyptic games and it, it just, just something about that. It's, you have to fend for yourself. It's, you know, kill or be killed kind of thing. You got to survive and it depends how tough you are and how, how smart you are to be able to survive longer in a wasteland like that. You know, you got your, your radiation and everything else. It just, so many things can be happening here in the wasteland. It's really cool. And in the game, I do understand you can make settlements. Like, you can play campaigns with settlements and everything else. And it just, that just blows my mind. Like, the playability and campaign style, it's it just, all of it is incredible. And on top of that, like, the solo mode. Like, you can play just solo games if you want. And I've tried a solo game already, and the AI works great. Like, you, you it's very random. It's by dice rolls and... Like you don't know what's going to happen. So you can play the same scenario more than once and it's going to have different outcomes, obviously, because, you know, it's unpredictable in this harsh wasteland. So that's it for the base coat of that. Very simple again. I use the uh, Deathclaw Brown. It's a Citadel layer paint. Just put it on. You can see, you can see some of the white showing through because of where I watered down it a little bit, especially like around this area and that. But I'm not going to try to do another coat. I want to keep it like that for when I put apply the wash, which you will see after I paint the base onto this. So once this is dry, I'll be back and we'll base out that base color. The scenic base, I should say. I'm really stumbling for words this time. I don't know what's wrong with me. Oh, well, I'll be back shortly. Now that it's all dry, you can see the white is showing through here. And I, I purposely did that. I, because again, like I said, I watered it down enough so that some of the white is showing through. So it's going to add a little bit of extra highlight when I'm doing the highlight part. But in either case, next thing we're going to do is we are going to jump over and do the, uh, the teeth and the claws onto them too as well. And the color that we're going to use for that is going to be Ushapi Bone. Uh, Ushapti Bone. It's a layer by Citadel. So I'm just giving this a quick little shake here. Give me one second. Should have done that off camera to be honest. Oh well. And again, I'm gonna add it into my wet palette. Give a little tiny bit of water with it. Not a lot of water, but a little bit. Just like that. And now I'm going to start painting him. So I'm just gonna lift him up a little bit. Pretty simple. I know one thing, I wouldn't want him biting onto me. That would be pretty bad. So on top of having like this part of his head, there's also like He's got little tiny bone structure sticking out of his back. So I'm just going, I'm just lightly touching this up. Just give it that little bit more of detail to it. 
And the only other part is just painting his claws. I don't have to be too accurate with this and the reason why I don't have to be too accurate is because we are going to be painting the base and it's going to hide a lot of my mess ups or over painting or what have you. So it's, I'm not too worried about it. Pretty simple. Look at this miniature is very easy to paint. I'm enjoying, I enjoyed painting the other ones and it was very quick. There we go. That's all the, the claws are painted. His teeth or beak, whatever you want to call it, is painted. Now, what you could do is take the, the Yushabi bone and just paint into his eyes if you really want to. Could you Just to show a little bit more detail. The other ones I didn't paint the eyes, but I'll do this one since we're recording it. So I'm going to let that dry and we'll be back to do the base. And we'll just move on from there. For painting the base, we're going to do the base coat of dry stone. Another citadel right there. It's a gray tone. I'm using my little brush first, just so I can get around like the nails. This is the part where you're going to have to be a little accurate so you don't get the, the base color onto the miniature itself. And you can see there that it's actually raised up the mound. Now in the picture, they never painted it with the stone. They actually painted it with like cracked earth, which you could certainly do. But again, I'm just changing this up slightly because that's the way that I flow with the paint. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, I know, corny. Anyhow, so yeah, just be careful going around this may require two layers for this here but it is watered down a little bit and i may just throw like i said a second layer onto it we'll see but in either case i'm going to finish painting this you don't have to see me paint all the base because i'm only putting the base coat onto it very simple with one color i'll be back when that's all done and we're ready for the wash now that the basing is all done with the draw stone gray uh, the next thing we're going to do now is we're just going to move on and cover the, the the wash or the shadow, the shade. Now we're going to do a, a shade different color onto the mole rat as opposed to the base. We're going to do the mole rat first. Let's give this a quick shake here. We're going to use Carisberg Crimson. It's a shade by Citadel. There we go. Carolberg. It's kind of like a purplish red color, I guess. I I kind of like the look. I tried like just using Irax Earth shade onto it and other different tones too as well. And this is what I like the most is this color here. So we just got to be careful. We're going to try is to be as careful as possible to avoid the uh, teeth, the eyes and the little spikes if we don't like it's not a big deal we can just take a q-tip and wipe it off when we're done and i'm not like over adding it that it's the shade is dripping off everywhere there is a good, good amount on my brush mind you but it, it's not enough that it, it's going to start running everywhere it, it is eventually going to start running because that's what shade does it finds its lowest point and pulls there but you know we just going to be as careful as possible may use our detail brush just to get around like where the teeth are and everything and the eyes so we don't kind of give it demonic eyes because yeah we don't want to have demonic eyes so yeah i'm just going to switch to my smaller detail brush you can see here just so i can do around like the feet part so i don't get the nails or the claws, talons, whatever you want to call it. Be gentle here. I'm getting quiet again. That's not like me. I don't get quiet. What's wrong? Bah. Stop being quiet. La 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 la. Yeah. 
So now I'm just kind of going in between the spikes. And kind of avoiding the eyeball that we painted it. Because that is going to be used with Agrax Earth Shade. That's what we're going to do for the base, the beak, or teeth, whatever you want to call it. And that way too as well because we're kind of taking our time and being as careful as possible so that we're not oversaturating it all for one so that we can don't have to wait for this shade to dry we can just start adding the other agrax earth shade right away to it so there that is the wash there I got everything and because we're putting it on a little uh, less saturated I'm leaving the other color the draw stone or death claw brown I'm leaving that show through a little more and on top of that it's not going to take as long to dry for the wash so I'm just cleaning off my little detail brush here and my bigger brush and we're going to add the next shade to it that out of the way and the next shade like I said is Agrax Earth Shade so you can see there Agrax Earth Shade and that's just going on the rest of the miniature like all of the base so it's all about the base that's right yeah I'm just button up against it just like this as usual, the more wash you put or more shade you put, the dirtier it looks. Well, no, I like the dirty look. Oh, yeah. Anyhow. Na, 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 na. So I'll put this on, finish putting on. I'll be back after it's dry and we'll be on to the highlighting step. Since all the shade is dry, both onto the miniature and the base, the next step is doing some dry brushing. So you can see here first that it's you know it's all dry grab some nice details there and you can still see some of the 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 whitish part kind of showing through both the shade and the base coat because where i watered it down now we're going to do a dry brush i'm going to do the dry brush on to the mole rat first and we are using this paint here it's jacoro orange I guess that's how you say it but in either case that's what we're going to dry brush with so again with dry brushing get a little bit on your brush wipe it off until there's like hardly anything onto it and then you just gently dry brush that's what i'm doing again i'm trying to avoid the uh the scales as much as possible or the spikes i should say and the base. It's already starting to pop with all of the nice textures. But I'm just gently going over it just to bring stuff out. Just like that. Now if you wanted to do a little bit lighter color, uh, like a flesh tone would probably be nice. Um, let me see the uh, Kiv Les, Les Flesh from Citadel 2 as well. You could probably do that to give it a little more of a brighter thing. We may go over top of it with that too. Uh, we'll see. But again, I'm just continuing on with the dry brush here as gentle as possible and as careful as possible. Just like so. so it kind of brings out the bumps on the top of his head too as well. And again, his tail. Bam! Just like that. Interesting. Now, you can compare the two of them here. They're very similar. Which is good, but I want it. Now, the only other dry brush that I'm going to do is I'm going to dry brush the base and a little bit more dry brush on there. And we're using my favorite dry brush of all, dry brush paint. And that's the long beard gray. Everybody's seen me do this a lot with the 
painting with the Maniac series so far because I like using this. And say anything, get some on your brush. And you just go over just like this. Now the base is wet here for my paintbrush. And dry brush won't work if the base is wet. For my paintbrush, it must have it must have dripped a little bit. Oh well, we can fix it up pretty easily though. Okay, just dry brushing. Getting more of a thicker part of the dry brush around the edge of the base. Just like that. Pretty simple. Nothing too hard. You can see it's still wet hair for my brush. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm just going to make sure all the water is off. When I say it's still wet hair for my brush, because I dip my brush in the, the water to clean it off, and I guess there's a little bit left on the top of the bristle part here. And because of that, I just kind of dripped in, and th that's silly for doing dry brush. So that's a bit of the product that I usually have, and then I brush it off. So you can see there's only a little bit of product on there. And just dry brushing a bit here. And even on the tops, like for the bones or the spikes sticking through, I'm kind of doing it with that too as well. And his nails, a little bit of his legs, you know, just just in certain areas, just bring it out and around his neck from where he has a lot of wrinkles around his neck. Like that. Pretty simple. Get this leg too as well. A little bit of that. Keep going on with the base. There. I would say that I like him the way he is. Um, Again, you could dry brush it with a lighter color if you wanted to, like to a flesh tone, but we're not going to do that because I didn't do that to the other ones. I did do a test and then I cleaned it off and and then I decided to go with this rug because I like the look of it more. But, you know, just because I'm doing it this color don't mean you have to do it this color. You do the way that you want. Now, the only other step to do uh, is we're going to take the Abaddon Black. And this is not going into my, my wet palette. I want to keep it as thick as it is because we're going to paint around the base, the rim of the base. So oh, I won't cover up there. I'll move the paint over so we're not covering it. So again, Abaddon Black, see right there. And just getting some on my brush, turning it sideways and painting. Just like this. Now you may be wondering where I got this uh, miniature stand from. I just want to give a shout out to my friend Chris from Way of the Brush. Uh, he's got his own YouTube channel now for painting. He's an awesome painter. He's helped me out a long, you know, time span of about four years if I have any questions on that. Go over, check out his channel. I think it is called Way of the Brush if I'm not mistaken. But if you're familiar with Mini War Gaming, you know who Chris is because he, he was there as a painter for years too as well. But Chris has helped me out time and time again. And I got one of these uh, handy dandy stands from him. And it just has some uh, blue tack underneath it. And I stick it for, you know, if I'm having any problems with some miniatures that have a bigger base. That's what I do. That's the way I roll. Oh, yeah. So, there you go. You see, I just painted it with some Abaddon Black. Undilute it. Make it nice and thick. Now, I wouldn't do anything else with this. I'm very happy with the way this turned out. Now, I've seen some people paint the, the base like a, a clay color or sand color, and they stuck grass onto it and that. But a lot of my miniatures have stone on the on the base so I want to match them up but I do have some that have a little bit of earth onto it and so forth and grass but I wanted to paint them like this so that's it that is for Fallout Wasteland Warfare it is the mole mole rat I should say by Modifius Entertainment look for the box set look for the core game it's incredible great game Check out the other painting videos for this month related to Fallout Waste and Warfare that's going to be on our channel. And don't forget to always click on the like and subscribe button or just subscribe the bell notification icon if you haven't already 
comment below and let me know what you think of all of the uh, the painting with the maniac videos as well as just the gameplay videos that are on our channel I would love to hear people's comments I do read every one of them and I do reply to them all so again just throw us a comment let me know what you're doing you know again if you painted any of your your miniatures from Fallout Waste and Warfare send me an email at boardgamemaniacs at gmail.com with images so I can take a look at them I'd love to see your work I'm very interested in it all also as a reminder check out the uh, 2020 update video that's on the channel where I talk about different different games that I want to start continuously playing on the channel and I'm leaving it up to the viewers out there to vote and whoever get the high whatever games get the highest vote are the ones that we are going to continuously play like one or two a month on top of the theme months that we have here at board game maniacs there you go that's probably my spiel and just one more thing about patreon patreon helps make this happen for me go over to patreon.com look up board game maniacs you can become an official sponsor of board game maniacs that's right to help us get more miniatures in like these get more paints just help us out in general with everything because we appreciate every little bit of support liking the video subscribing bell notification check us out on instagram and facebook too as well ah, there's my spiel so stay tuned for the next video for painting miniatures in this series for uh, fallout waste and warfare by modifius entertainment so until then board game maniacs you know what i'm gonna say i'm not gonna say it. of course i'm gonna say it that is be a maniac Boo. see you next time Boo. hope you enjoyed that video if you want to keep up to date with board game maniacs click on the like and subscribe button to be notified when more videos come available if you want to become an official sponsor of board game maniacs go to patreon.com slash board game maniacs or you can go to streamlabs.com slash board game maniacs one that's right and you can donate to help keep the lights on keep food in their bellies and play more games, we'll purchase more games, more equipment to make Board Game Maniacs evolve and get bigger and larger because of you, the viewers. I thank you from the bottom of my toes to the top of my head for all of your support. And until next time, Board Game Maniacs, be a maniac.